let me start it's a most common and it is an autosomal dominant inherited so it is characterized by there are many polyps found in the colon so you need many polyps to diagnose it also so you, you need many polyps to find for the diagnosis to look uh, to confirm the diagnosis so if uh, left untreated all the patients with this develop cancer so very important because it leads to cancer right so the gene responsible for this is APC name itself indicates APC so it's located on 5q21 no need to remember about this band but uh, just you can remember if you wish okay now most common presentation for this patient is asymptomatic the own presence so the how the USMLE will give you the history is a young patient of 22 years old man comes to your office because he's worried uh, recently his father died of uh, colonic cancer um, and sigmoidoscopy shows um, uh, FAP like this okay so which of the following is the next best step or which of the following is a diagnosis or blah 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 blah, blah. okay uh, most of the patients with FAP have the family history of uh, polyps or colorectal cancer at the age of 40 years or younger very important because usually the cancer develops in the age of 60 70 years old but if they give the history of a cancer in the family father died at the age of 35 years or a brother or, uh, or, or, or first degree relatives died within the years of 40 years very important point sometimes non-specific symptoms like uh, bleeding the area abdominal pain with these symptoms definitely confuse you with a Crohn's or ulcerative colitis so the only thing you can differentiate you can differentiate it is by colonoscopy investigations that's it okay this is an important point you need to remember congenital hypertrophy of the retinal pigment epithelium is highly specific for FAP if they give the history of a young patient very small patient very keto keto or something like that so remember about this point otherwise you can forget up to you guys okay uh, the other important point is alpha beta protein blood test for a children with FAP until the age of five years as a part of screening program for a hepatoblastoma so AFP blood test remember for the age less than five uh, tests what do you do uh, the important test is a flexible sigmatoscopy why we do sigmatoscopy because most of the polyps are present on sigma on the left side right so you do flexible sigmatoscopy but remember colonoscopy uh, other thing they can be higher incidence of colonos uh, uh, polyps present on the right side so better to go ahead with a colonoscopy barium studies may per perform to visualize intestinal polyposis uh, okay the endoscopy polypectomy is to confirm the diagnosis the only thing by which you can confirm the diagnosis is by the biopsy that's it right that is what you're going to do go and see in the histology okay treatment plan before going to surgery i would like to tell you remember about this NSAIDs, sericoxib and solandac very successful to reduce the number and the size of polyps in a patient with fap screening very 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 important for USMLE screening is very important because they are they are much worried about the screening of the patients in USMLE so you should know so remember flexible sigmatoscopy should be performed every one to two years starting at the age of 10 to 12 years in a patient with the FAP to document the onset of polyposis if seen do colectomy directly directly okay screening how about the screening of the family members so sometimes the next question would be uh, what would uh, what would be your advice for my brother because I'm diagnosed with the FAP then what do you do so should same should begin with the uh, age of 12 years uh, flexible sigmatoscopy every one to two years until the patient is aged to 35 years and then uh, if uh, no lesion is found and everything is fine then every three years thereafter so genetic testing may eliminate the need for surveillance in some family members capsule endoscopy is useful for surveillance of uh, geogenal ileal polyps what if, if medical therapy and endoscopic therapy have failed 
so what do you do is just go with the uh, control polyp uh, just go with the rectal resection prognosis says how do they prognose patients with the untreated FAP median life expectancy of is uh, of what 42 years old 42 years uh, upper gastrointestinal cancers and desmoid tumors are the most common cause of death in the patients who have undergone colectomy this is why surveillance programs especially after colectomy are essential so this is very important point okay thank you so much for watching my video watch again and again replay again and again uh, so that you can understand the important points for your similar examination thank you so much for watching my video please do subscribe rate and comment okay